Well, if hope is the rocket fuel for Christian faith and hope is based on a vision, hope is taking you somewhere. I'm going to add to that today that hope is participation in nothing less than resurrection. Hope is not a small thing. Hope is about moving from dying to living. Hope is about accompanying people on their journey from dying to rising. Hope is the living out of the participation in Jesus' resurrection work. And that's what we're going to be talking about today on Faith for Times Like These. This is Episode 7. Pastor Dan, great to be with you today, everybody. When terrible things happen, people come around you. And you know, it's never really what they say. It has something magical to do with their presence. I've seen it dozens of times. It's, it's as if people bring hope into a room by just showing up. And that hope is an unspoken testimony that there is going to be another day. And when you're the one who's had the most terrible thing happen, it's all you can hold on to are these people, these angels that show up with their broken hearts and stand with you and hold you up because they're hope for a new day, for a resurrection of sorts. I believe in a nutshell, that's what we're always called to do, you and me. It's not to be perfect. It's not to have all the answers. It's to walk into impossible situations and by our very presence proclaim that there will be a resurrection, that there will be a rising, that there will be a new day out of this. In times like these, at times of pandemic, where people are anxious and tired and frightened and sick, you and I participate in nothing less than the resurrection by being people of hope who get in and do things small and do things large to ease someone's burden, to befriend them, to make them less alone or isolated. In this time of demand for racial justice, we do not throw our hands up and walk away. Hope never gives up. Hope doesn't say there isn't an answer. Hope doesn't say it's too big. Hope doesn't say it's not me. Hope drives us towards that vision of a new day. And then we do the resurrection work. It's a lot like gardening to me. Gardening seems so innocuous. You know, you you find a plot of land and you till it up a little bit. You plant some little seeds and then you water it and then you weed it and you work on it day after day and week after week. And you almost can't see the changes. And then all of a sudden, one day it's green and then one day it's fruitful. And one day the harvest comes in. Gardening is resurrection work, right? Always. So too, you and I are involved in resurrection work. We are people of hope. And even in issues that seem as impossible as understanding racism and its causes and its solutions, we can do it because we are people of hope based on a vision that's given to us by God that was articulated and proclaimed by Jesus Christ. And we can do the hard resurrection work because it's been given to us. And because we are gods, because God says, you are my beautiful children, help my other beautiful children. So let us do this resurrection work each and every day. Let us be people of hope in this broken world. Great to be with you again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Enjoy your resurrection work today.